Hey all, welcome to another one of my videos. Um, today I wanted to do something a little bit different and show you a game that I enjoyed as a kid. Um, I don't know, I was about 13 or 14 and we got our first computer and it came with a disc full of sh games. Um, they were all shareware games with, and basically I guess you might call them the precursor to freemium games because there was some advertising before you could start playing the game and then you played the game uh, which is where I guess it differed from the modern version where now you even in the middle of the gameplay you could be inundated with ad back then it was just one ad at the beginning of the game and then you played the game uninterrupted so anyway I found this game and I fell in love with it and I, then a few years ago I found that it had been remade for Android, and I'm guessing Apple. And anyway, I bought it, and, and there is a free version, but I downloaded the free version and went, oh, this is exactly the game I remember, and bought it because I love it that much. So I tried to introduce it to a friend of mine, and he couldn't understand what, was, he, what the point was, and he was having trouble with it. So I thought I'd make this video to help him and anybody else who might enjoy deduction games and enjoy games of logic and might want to try this for themselves so here we go the name of the game is sherlock and unlike my computer version which only had the six by six model which you'll understand what that meant for a 13 year old here in a minute um this one comes with three different levels of difficulty and we'll just jump in at the low level so i can introduce you to it and then go from there all right, so here we are. This is a, this is what a game board looks like. There are, I don't know, I say infinite numbers of games. There's like thousands and thousands and thousands. I've been playing it for several years on and off, and I have yet to even begin to finish it. So, infinite. Um, but yeah, the whole game setup is you've got these four columns. Well, at least in the four by four, you got four columns and four rows. So you can imagine five by five and six by six. Five columns, five rows, six columns, six rows. But you get a row of people, a row of houses, and a row of numbers, and a row of fruit. And you use these vertical clues down here, see, right here, and these horizontal clues to try to figure out what the combination is on this tile board thing. And if you hold down on any of the clues, it will tell you what the clues mean until you can kind of figure out, and then it's pretty obvious after that. So you got red house and number one are in the same column. Then you have this clue here where the old guy in the red house, uh, yeah, I named him the old guy, and I named the kind of orange looking guy there, I named him Beardy. Um, so you got the old guy in the red house, and the three are in, the th are in three adjacent columns with the red house between, but note that the old guy and the three may be reversed. And then, of course, you probably guessed, these two things are next to each other. Now, sometimes, as in this puzzle, they will actually give you one or more of the um, solutions. And then there may or may not be clues directly related to the solution that they give you. In this case, there is. I've got this clue right here. So they gave me the greenhouse, and I see that the greenhouse has to be next to the number one. So, boom, I do that. And now, because there is nothing else to use with this clue, I can get rid of it. And if I touch on one of these gray areas, I can go back and see the clues I've eliminated, quote-unquote, and then touch again. I go back to my main clues. Uh, that's helpful because sometimes you eliminate a clue by accident, like you just accidentally hit the wrong one, or you eliminate it thinking you're done with it and then realize, oh, well, I can't figure out what to do next. I can't find any of my clues. And then you go back and you look at what you've eliminated and go, oh, wait, I didn't, I still needed a particular clue because I needed, to, I forgot that bit. So anyway, just to finish this out real quick, um, I'm going to use some logic here. So look at this clue right here. Since the red house has to be between two things, it can't be on the end. So it's already eliminated from where the green one is. So I need to eliminate it from the other column. Now, um, for sake of being able to describe what I'm doing to you, the, from left to right, we'll call them columns one through four, and then top to bottom, one through four, but that's really, rows aren't really an issue. So columns, 
left to right, one to four. So in column four, I need to get rid of the red because it needs something, either the old guy or the three, on the right-hand side of it, and there's no column on the right-hand side, so it can't be there. Um, so now, let's see. The one goes with the red house. Hey, look at that. This clue right there. The one goes with the red house. So get rid of that, and now I know where the red house is. And the old guy and the three have to be near the red house. So old guy, three can't be here. Old guy can't be there. And there we go. I'm not quite done with that yet because I still need to remember that the old guy and the three don't go in the same column. Now, the green guy here, looking at this clue, the green guy goes next to the old guy. That's true in column four, not true in column three, true in column two, but not true in column one. So, now having eliminated so many green, I can see that the yellow house has to go next to the green guy, which is not true in column four. Boom. I found four. Now, in the option setting, there's an option to uh, make those auto-complete, and you can turn that on and off. I have it on because why not? Um, okay, so now I know where the yellow house is, and I know that the green guy has to be next to the yellow house, and looking at the only two places where the green guy is and the fact that they're next to the yellow house, I can call that clue done because once I figure out anything, the green guy is going to be next to the yellow house. Um, not the same for the old guy in the green, and yeah, all right, so let's see, two and the pair, well, I don't know where the two is, I don't know where the pair is, but I know where the two isn't, and if you look at column one, that pair isn't going to be next to a two if the pair is there, so it can't be there. Um, green guy gets the apple, so everywhere there's not a green guy, I get rid of an apple. So, old guy gets the banana, so same rule. So, banana, banana, there we go. Oh, but I see, while I was not paying attention, this girl and the yellow house go together. So, boom. That solved my old guy, so now I know where the banana is. I solved the old guy, so I know where the green guy is. I also know where the three is. So, boom, boom. And now I can see, hey, two pair, two pair. Oh, nope. Not there. Uh, oh, look at that. Did it again. Apple, green guy. And now I know where the pair is, so now I know where the two is. And I win! And there's lots of noise. And yay, I'm on the scoreboard. Not my best time, but, you know, hey. Um, actually, why, oh, why isn't that higher up on the... Oh, I didn't get any points for that. Oh. Wow, that's sad. Okay, anyway, moving on. Um, so, that is pretty much length and width of it. Here's another set. This time, this this series has a three-tier clue set up. So, basically, three items to put into a column. Then we're, oops, then we're also introduced to the not between. So, the two and the three have a column between them. Blue is not between them. Same thing for that one. And we have this clue set up, where the pair has to be somewhere to the left of the green guy. And I got some of those. Um, when you do these clues, it simply means that the pair has to be to the left. So that means that the pair can't be in the far right column. Neither can the orange in this case, or the three. But at the same time, if you look to the right, the green, the three, and the banana all have to be to the right of, the, of other things. So they can't be in the far left. So green, three, and what, banana? Okay. And so basically that's what it is. The game is purely deduction. And I do mean purely deduction and I guess a little bit of induction, but never do you need to guess, okay? You may have to look and look and look for a little bit, but you're eventually gonna notice that there is a, like for instance, especially on, let me go to, let me do this options let's skip ahead to the five in the five by five it adds another column but it also adds another row you get signs the clues aren't much different you'll notice looking over there that it's pretty much the same clues but i want to go ahead to the big one the six by six um the only clue the only options i'm really going to talk about here there's lots and lots of options but the only option i really want to talk about is the notify on error i finally got to the point where i turned that off 
And basically what it does is if you hit a icon, like let's say to eliminate or you put an icon, you either eliminate an icon from where it's supposed to go or put another icon in a spot that it doesn't go, it'll pop up a warning because you're eliminating the answer. It'll pop up a warning saying, hey, don't do that, basically telling you, hey, that icon is the one that belongs here. And yeah, so there's an on and off for that, but it doesn't kind of affect your score. So I turned it off so that my score rankings, not that scores matter. In this game, scores are completely biased to you. Um, there is no online tracking. So if you notice, there's not even a which player did this. This is all about you and making you better at deductions. Now there is a player button, and this isn't like select number of players. This is just so people who are sharing a device can all play they just have to remember which player they are so that their stats only affect them um anyway so i want to get on up to um uh, options uh, and there's a six by six okay so here's the six by six and as you can see by the time we get here we add an extra per well there's two extra people uh the baby was added with the fifth the five by five and then there's who i called chicken man when i was 13 so i've left him as chicken man now um then i've got a row of signs and a row of letters that spell out homes um and basically the clue now we've got another set of clues here's a clue chicken is in the same column as either the apple or the h but not both of them so it basically means the apple and the h is not in the same column and <laughs> You'll notice that I've, they've told me some hints here, and let me restart this one, because this is actually a puzzle I started earlier, and I want you to see it from before I messed it up. Okay, there we go. So, now, once again, we've got that in-between thing, so H has to be, right here, H has to be in between the, old, the bearded and the L, so the H, because it's between things, can't be here, and... Yeah, I could go on and on and solve this whole thing, but I won't. Because, uh, you know, it take too long, and you don't want to watch that. You'd rather go and play it, and it'd be much more fun. But anyway, remember, this is a game of logic and deduction. It does require that you really... Some, some of the puzzles are really easy, and you'll just zip right through them. Some of the puzzles are harder, and you will get kind of twisted and befuddled with the different clues. If you ever get really stuck, and you're on the verge of, I don't know, I've got two options in this box and the same two options in this other column um i'll guess well you know what use a hint because the hint will help explain to you if you'll notice there's a little red circle there and then there's a little red circle down here and i accidentally hit it so let me do that again so and it'll tell you and explain to you hey look this clue says that this can't be here so let's get rid of it here so since the girl has to be in the same column as the blue house and the railroad and the dead end is here not the railroad the blue house and the girl can't be here and then I can translate that to the stop sign that the blue house and the girl can't be there and that's really how the game works and it's literally if all about deduction building your critical thinking skills building your deduction reasoning logic thinking skills I started playing it when I was 13 and I have really good critical thinking skills, at least that's what I've always been told by all my evaluations that I did as I got older, and by the fact that people are like, wow, how did you figure that out just by da 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 da? So these are things I hear on a pretty regular basis. So if you want to build your skills, or if you just like doing these kind of games, maybe you're already strong in these skills, and you like the challenge, I recommend this game. Like I said, I've been playing it since I was 13, I am now 40. And I still love it, and I still play it, and yeah, anyway, can't recommend it enough. So, anyway, um, yeah, I hope you all enjoy it, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.